my, my own experience is that, that because I'm at here at CIS, I know at CIS there's many, many people that are interested in the potential for psychedelics for a variety of areas, for healing, for knowledge, for spiritual practice. In terms of the larger community, I, I, what, I, what I know is that every culture, not every culture, but many, many cultures have used different substances for a variety of purposes. For, for healing, for medicine, for enhancing understanding. Uh, so this is something that cultures do. Our culture has chosen that alcohol is a good substance to, to use for altering states and nicotine. These are, these are the two sanctioned, one of the, two of the sanctioned type of uh, mind altering substances. Other cultures have made different choices. So every culture seems to, to allow certain types of drugs to be used. I would think that at some time, if there was a, if there was a protected legal climate for people to use psychedelics, it would, it would transform our culture. I, I, I think there's a lot of interest, certainly. Uh, I think you just have to look at teenagers. And I, I just recently went to uh, my daughter's graduation and there's so much, I mean, people when they're 17 are so fascinated about the world, learning about what the world is and who they are. So this idea of searching for meaning, I think, is in every new generation. So I think that it's a widespread interest, I, I really feel.